Hi, uh, good evening here to where, where I am. It's uh, August uh, 23, 2015. I am making this um, presentation for my daughter who is in grade 9 in uh, De La Salle University uh, in Das Marines, uh, Cavite, Philippines. So they have uh, her subject is uh, geometry. Um, first of all, let me um, introduce her to uh, Isadora as Jurim. Uh, you can see here from my laptop, it says uh, when a triangle has a right angle 90 degrees and square are made on each of the three sides. And let me play that one. I got this from Google and then then okay some movie there but here it explain uh, it is called uh, Pythagoras uh, Churim or Pythagorean Churim can be written in one short equation a squared b squared equal to c squared um, c is the longest side of the triangle which is the uh, hypotenuse It says in a right tra right angle triangle, the square of the hypotenuse is equal to the sum of the squares of the other two sides. Oh, so that's the Pythagorean theorem. And now let's go to the um, actual um, problem uh, of my child. Uh, here is the um, here is the paper. So uh, it says here solve the following distances between two points. Draw the figure and show your complete solution. Um, so number one, here is the given. Draw the triangle with the given vertices and show that the triangle is a right triangle with those given A, B, and C okay so I'm gonna write the solution, the solution on a graphing paper let's go down adjust the focus okay so I, I I already plotted here the points. I use a, a, a gra graphic paper, graphing paper, whatever it is. So uh, point A is uh, negative one and one. Negative one is the x-axis, so I do this negative one. I scale it into. Uh, into four one two three four so that is one and then one two three four that is negative one so uh, negative one is the x-axis one is the y-axis so point a is there and then point b is here which is uh, x uh, six one two three four five six six and y is negative two negative 1, negative 2 so point B is there for point C it is x4 that is 4 and uh, y is 3 1, 2 and 3 so it's here so um, after plotting this I, I, I uh, draw a line to, to make triangle 
So it's like this. As you can see, uh, by the visual look, the the uh, segment, uh, the line between A and B is somehow it looks like the hypotenuse which is the longest line and the other two lines are the um, are the other legs in the triangle so how do we know that this is the hypotenuse so uh, the next the 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 trick that I found it very useful is um, is I want to draw a square a square uh, um, a square which will show um, or which will put the triangle inside the square something like that so why do I need why well, do I want to do that I want to do that because I want to get the outside triangles I'll show you why so if uh, I said I want to create a square which is which will put the triangle inside the square so what I'll do is I'll I'll plot the uh, the edge of the, the the triangle. So from here, this is the edge reference to B, and there there is this edge reference to C, and here there is the edge reference to B. So then I will make. Uh, a square I will join the lines So see, this is what I'm trying to uh, explain a while ago, is that I created an outer triangle. So by by doing that, I can now know the distance of uh, these lines, which needs to be identified or which is part of the uh, of the problem. So here. I will know the distance of A and B uh, segment and this is A to C and this is B to C okay so from here you can see that I can have a right angle All right here I have a right angle here another right angle so by showing you that we go back to the to the um, Pythagorean theorem. So C, which is the green uh, line squared, equals to the two to the square of this side. Let's say this is A plus B squared, which is here. Okay, so. Uh, so uh, how can I solve that I can solve that because I know or let me show you one by one so for example I will solve uh, let's call this as triangle letter D okay, so that is letter D okay so for D I know that this side is has a value from the graph has a value of 1 2 3 4 5 6 plus 1 so I know that this is 7 
so let's say that is let's put a unit 7 centimeter um, but we'll not put it now we'll just put a number so here I know also the number because from here I see the graph that is one there and then one two this is two negative two so I know the side is two okay so now I will know now what is the hypotenuse or looks like the hypotenuse from the Pythagorean theorem Pythagorean theorem let's say this is side C so C squared equals uh, here which is let's say this A squared plus B squared so that is C squared equals uh, so let it is 7 squared plus B squared so C C equals C equals uh, 49 plus 4 7 times 7 4 9 then this is 53 C squared or if we put it to C, C will be the square root of 53. Is that correct? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, ah, no. 1, 2, 3. No, no, sorry, sorry. This should be 3. Sorry, this is 3 squared. This is 49. This is 9. That should be 58. So that's the square root of 58. So now we already know what is C, which is 58, which is this one. So we know now already this is AB equal to AB. Okay. So now let's uh, go to another triangle, which is this triangle. So we know that this is uh, 4 plus 5, uh, 4 plus 1, this is 5. Okay. We know that this is 1, 2, this is 2, 1, 2, okay. So C, I'm going to uh, Pythagorean theorem again. C squared equals, I'll make it a direct uh, solution now, 5 squared plus 2 squared. 25 plus 4 is 29 c squared so c equals square root of 29 c square root 29 which is segment a and c a c okay and now we're down to the last triangle which is this one Okay, so we are looking for B and C segment. So here I know that here the distance is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5. And this I know the distance as 1, 2, 2. So C, going back to Pythagorean theorem again, 2, plus 5 uh, 4 plus 25 
square root of 29. So, C square root of 29, which is uh, BC. Okay. And now, we got all our sides. So, we can say A, B is this is triangle. So this is A, B is square root of 58. See? And this one, and C, A, C, is square root of 29. And B, C, is square root of 29. So here it shows that if we sum that up using the Pythagorean theorem, C squared equals A squared plus B squared. So C, uh, here, here, uh, C is square root of 58 equals, uh, uh, square root of 29. Plus square root of 29. So if we look at them, they are equal. See, will be 58. Right. So now we der therefore conclude that the triangle is a right angle triangle because of the solution that I've shown. Okay, thank you.